Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends 2-pack Star-Lord and Marvel's Ego from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This is not how I'm going to put it as a title, but still, pretty cool set. Not really, we're getting the, what, third friggin' Star-Lord, which I think is very unnecessary. He should have at least came with a jetpack. That would be, you know, add a lot of difference. You can see me right there. Hey, hey. Ah. Anyways, uh, I really do like that we're getting Ego, although uh, I feel like they could have done Ego and Mantis, and Mantis wasn't the build. I don't know, anyways. On the side, you can see a nice picture of Chris Pratt, or as I like to call him, Andy, uh, Andy Dwyer. I've been watching Parks and Rec recently. Uh, and you can see Kurt Russell there, pretty cool picture. I love, kind of looks like a air paint. I really like that. Ah! <laughs> Anyways, if you want to read the reader pause now, there's the two figs, and that's about it for packaging. I thought this guy, these t guys were, um, Toys R Us, then I got them at Target, and then I see them everywhere now, so, yeah, they're just everywhere. So, anyways, let's get these guys opened up and see how cool they actually are. Alright, we got these two figures out of the packaging, and another thing that would have been nice for this two pack instead of a calm normal head and uh, I feel like they should have included a uh, angry face sculpt because um I'm trying to recreate the scene where spoiler he ego crushes the uh the walkman and so he flips on and starts shooting him. <laughs> well, that's not a real reason but he crushes it and then it triggers him so triggers yeah okay whatever. Anyways it does come with the Walkman, which did come with the last Star Lord. Its gun is a lot less detailed. Uh, the, yeah, this is alright. I mean, you get a little black scuff on there. But, yeah. This is alright. I mean, it's not the best. Definitely seen a lot better. But I do really like this Ego head sculpt. This really does look like uh, Kurt Russell. And it's amazing. The lips could be a little fat on the bottom, but other than that, I think this really does look like him. The eyes on the angry head does kind of wander a little bit, but, you know, yeah. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Let's look at Star-Lord, just because it is the same exact thing. A couple of little minor differences, it's like, I don't think, I think the jacket is a lot more dull, uh, if I'm being honest. But, uh, I know the shirt is actually accurate now, because the, the one where he's like this, in this uniform, the shirt was too dark, then the the last one, but the shirt was too bright, now it's just right, so. Yeah, Gordy Locks, I don't know, but this face skin does look like Chris Pratt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that looks like him. No argument. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. I hear they have a new system from Shadimus, but uh, I don't know. I didn't really understand, so I'm not going to try to explain it. But yeah, it does look a lot better. Yeah, really like this. Uh, he actually kind of holds the guns a little bit better as well, which pisses me off because... Uh, I'm going to actually put this in my room because I already have two Star-Lords. One in my Marvel Cinematic Universe shelf and then the other one, the last one with the trench coat in my space slash magic shelf. So, yeah, the pants are good and the articulation is the same as well. The head does look up slightly. He can look down. He can look side to side. does have a head pivot. The arms are very stiff, but it can move out like so. You can do 360. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Sw there's swivel at the hand and hinge. There's an ab crunch. Uh, that far forward, very nice. Not, eh, that's a good amount back. It's especially with the coat on. There's a waist swivel. Uh, kind of goes back into place at a certain point, which is a little unfortunate. But uh, the hip joints move out like so. These pegs here do affect that. There's a thigh cut. He can't kick out like so. Kick back a tad. Double joint knees. No boot rot. Oh, yeah, there's a boot rotation. Uh, the feet can hinge and pivot. I'm 
I, I actually have, I want to do a comparison with this guy with another figure uh, that I haven't opened yet. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So, subscribe to see what I'm talking about in a few days. I still don't know what I'm going to do yet, but, yeah, anyways. Let's take a look at Ego. You get the Walkman, which you can't go on Star Lord, but it's, it is a bit of a pain. It falls off quite easily. Eh. Come on. Eh. Did it fall off even? Yeah. All, right, all that for nothing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the, I like the other head sculpt better than this one. If I'm being totally honest. But the skin looks very real on this. If I if I saw this at a distance, but you know, like it was zoomed in, I would think this is a hot toy. Honestly, that's how good the skin looks, especially on the forehead. The hair looks good. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of the mad face, so I'm actually gonna swap this out. Ugh, I, I gotta bring it to me. Sorry. Use my other hand. Ugh, got it. Then put this one. On. There we go. Now this cape is removable. You gotta take the head off and so forth. But I'm gonna keep it on just because it is a little bit more accurate. I like the wash. I mean, overall this is kind of like a dull figure. But the only reason why I got him is... We need more villains for the MCU. Uh, we got Vulture... Car Mordo, if you really want to count that, which I kind of, if you if you haven't seen Doctor Strange, you're not gonna watch it. So unless you're a little kid, then I'm sorry. But Car Mordo is kind of a bad guy. He turns heel at the end. If you don't know what turning heel means, watch wrestling. Anyways, I just watch one of my wrestling videos and. I'm sure I explain what a heel is there, but I really do like the pads here. Very nicely sculpted. Let's get this piece here. I really like this. You see some stitching. Not the biggest fan of this diaphragm joint. Kind of looks a little. Loose. The cape's all right. It's, you know, it's just a cape. It's nothing really special with it. And then you can see these, and the pants are. From the waist down, it's kind of bland. The boots look okay. Articulation. The head does not move up that far. You can't look down quite a bit. Okay, no. You can look down not at all because of the cape. I'm sure I can move down more if, without the cape. But he does have a head. He can look side to side. There's a slight head pivot. The arms can move out like so. Very good. Can do a 360, but it does get pushed out a little bit. Uh, there is a, a literal bicep cut. There's a double jointed elbows, which are really nice because you can do like, yo. Know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, so like the hand and hinge. There is a diaphragm joint that far forward, that far back, side to side. Very, wow, that's very loose. That's kind of concerning me. Uh, is there a waist swivel? Okay, no, I thought there was. But hip joints move out like so. I think that's okay for a figure that's not going to be that crazy in poses. Uh, but yeah. Kicks forward and back that much. And then thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Is there boot rotation? Yes, there's boot rotation. And the feet can hinge and pivot. Now I'm going to do a quick comparison. Uh, here is Ego. Next to Star Lord, and I think that height difference is good. Uh, you know, so I don't know what I'm gonna use for the thumbnail if I'm being honest. I'll probably like have him patting him on the shoulder, like so. But I'm definitely not gonna be putting this display on this on the display. I'm looking at him a bit more. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's turning the shoulder. 
Yeah, that, that's a good pose. I'm gonna actually snap the picture real quick. Back up a little bit more. Yeah, that's a good picture. It's being a little weird. Let me retake that just in case. I don't know why it's being like this, but yeah, that's a good picture, right? That's a good thumbnail. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What's your opinions on these figures? Why are we getting more Star Lords? Stop with the Star Lords, please. Stop with the Star Lords. Uh, from now on, I might actually just do this. Just make Star Lord the comparison of every, um, like, you know, live action character. You know, Daredevil, Thor. Punisher, Jessica, you know, all those guys, so, that was a bit of a spoiler alert, by the way. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, if you liked this video, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to see so much more content, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace, thanks for watching.